Alright right, guys, it's still fun. We're enjoying our time. <laughs> I wasn't planning to record any of these. <laughs> but it was every day that a girl meets me in a cafe that I don't know, say, You know, teach me something. <laughs> this is Ukraine. Welcome to Kyiv, Ukraine. You don't get this in Paris. <laughs> The Soviet state concealed embarrassing facts such as famine in Ukraine. Oh, you're you drawing someone? Yeah, it's one of my friends. Nice. So what, what are you doing? Like are you a painter, student? What do you do? No, I'm a choreographer at all. You are also? I'm a choreographer. Uh, I'm drawing just for myself. And I felt that Jonas is doing it from the depths of his heart. And uh, she's talking about my heart. She already knows my. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is this so much. <laughs> Whatever I want, I soon discovered that when you break bread with people and share the troubles and joys, the barriers of language, politics, and religion soon vanish. I liked them, and they liked me. That was all that mattered. I have a question because. It has been, let me get closer. Because she wants me to teach her friends, so now I'm getting closer to her. <laughs> so, I've been in Kiev for three weeks. And I saw many girls like with the lips that look like, like this. And I'm asking Maria, why the girls here, they do a lot of injections. And here's the answer. So this was blown up. Oh, this is sad, you see? See what happened? I think they reconstructed, you know, to get better uh, uh, kind of colors. Talking to you. Wish you all to be healthy. Please flourish with moderation. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. Since the COVID hit the world in 2020, I sold everything and went traveling the world. Along the way, I discovered new places, taught my passion for the electric propulsion systems used for marine vessels, both civil and military, and more importantly, I made new friends and memories that I will cherish forever. Join me in my travel and teach journey. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe, like and comment my videos. It helps me to continue doing what I love most. Let's learn and travel together. Let's have fun. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Fall season. In Kiev, Ukraine. It's even a little bit uh, warm. I feel I feel a little bit uh, warm with this. What are they doing here? Some ongoing repression. We will talk to you at standard. I'm just singing after them. The fall season is officially here in Kyiv, Ukraine. Just look at the color of the trees. This is Volodymyr the Great statue. The, the famous Ukrainian who Christianized uh, Kyiv. Look at the trees changing their color. The Dnieper River. I'm walking on the glass bridge. And that's the arch of the people who free them. Interesting. Looks like uh, it's an American guy who took these uh, photographies here. So here, his name I think is Julian Bryan. He says, whatever I want, I soon discovered that when you break bread with people and share the troubles and joys, the barriers of language, politics and religion soon vanish. I liked them and they liked me. That was all that mattered. This is interesting. So this is a picture from the Second World War. Is a girl despairing over the body of a slain young woman, which was taken by an American filmmaker, Julian Bryan, in September 1939. Wow, this is in war. It's like right at the beginning of uh, the World War. Photographs by Julian Bryan. <laughs> Thank you. 
the East has always fascinated the West. After the 1917 Bolshevik Revolution, this curiosity grew even more. Reports of crime, famine and poverty conflicted with the propaganda vision of the homeland of the world proletariat. A visit to the Soviet Union may not seem the best way to learn the truth. In the 1930s, after the Second World War and after the Khrushchev, the Khrushchev tour, waves of foreign visitors trying to do just that. However, they saw only a fragment of reality. The Soviet state concealed embarrassing facts, such as famine in Ukraine, that's true. Yeah, so okay, the restricted photography, etc., so that, that you can see only what, uh, what, they, what the Soviet uh, state wanted. Again, we're talking about uh, the 30s, 40s, so Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union, and that wasn't a fun time of the history to be um, to be Ukrainian. Wow, look at this! This is Bad Yar, so that's where there is the memorial of the the Jewish people who were killed by the Nazi. You see, more than 70,000 people were murdered, apart from the Jews, also the Ukrainians, the Poles, the Roma, and the Sinti. I don't know who the Sinti is. I need to check it. Kiev. This is in Kiev, January 1947. So this was blown up. Wow, this is sad. You see, see what happened. I think they reconstructed, you know, to get better uh, uh, kind of color. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I think we have uh, our lives today are so are way easier than than anything I'm seeing here. Yep, we don't have a lot of wars. Um, we have food, we have entertainment, we have transport, we have a developed medical system. So yeah, I think we should be thankful for the period of time that we have, guys. And that's why it's, it's interesting to come here to the east because you still you can still see this this sad this sad and ro uh, uh, rough uh, past that you know Ukraine had and the Soviet Union had. So this is again you know the the park, my favorite park that you know I walked with from uh, Volodymyr the Great statue. You have two options: you can either go downstairs like this, and then you'll arrive straight to a metro station. Then you continue in the street of Podil. The other option is to continue by there. Then you go to Andrevsky uh, descent. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'll take, maybe the underski uh, distance I would say or you know what, yeah, I'm going down, I'm going like this this is how it looks like it's more interesting to to make the ascent, not the descent at least for your legs <coughs> so guys, now it's my turn to ask you questions have you been to Ukraine? Have you been to East of Europe in general? Like, you know, there is the Balkan countries like Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia, etc. Greece also. Uh, I don't know, have you been to Russia? What do you think about the East? What do you think about the East European uh, culture in general? And uh, more importantly, like, are you planning to come here if you have never been here? Drop me your answer in the comment section below the video. We would love to hear uh, from you guys. <laughs> it's crazy, whenever you take like, you know, some, some serious stairs like this, <laughs> There is a huge contrast between the faces <laughs> of those descending <laughs> and those ascending. <laughs> yeah, that girl didn't look happy. You can see some office buildings. Oh, look at Little Square. Let me show you. Oh, come back. Uh, this district is amazing. Like, there are there are tons of people around all the time. Спасибо, Jakuya, as they say in Ukrainian. Here is my other favorite street of Ukraine. Sitting here, 
doing some interesting painting, I kind of, let me show you. I kind of want to go to ask her. Yeah, let's see. Hello. Hi, can, can I see what, can I ask you what you're doing? I'm drawing a picture. Oh, so you're drawing someone? Yeah, it's one of my friends. Nice. So what what are you doing? Like are you a painter, student? What do you do? No, I'm a, I'm a choreographer at all. You are what? I'm a choreographer. I, right. I'm drawing just for myself. Do you do it for hobby or is it your main occupation? It is my main job. I'm like I'm a choreographer and uh, I'm paint. drawing just for myself. Nice. nice. So you're Ukrainian? Yeah. Cool. Cool. What enjoy your uh, your painting? It's beautiful. Do you have like an Instagram account or something like that? Um, I have Instagram account but uh, I haven't worked there just uh, with my dance profile. Okay. I will make maybe later. For painting? For okay. painting. Okay. Alright, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. When was the last time I painted? <laughs> now you feel bad. <laughs> no, she's doing... Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful picture. Beautiful painting. Let me show you what I got here. Done. See you later, my friends. And the traditional, uh, I guess it's a bakery. Let me show you around. Here they're exposing what they have. And here is. Hi! <laughs> You're saying hi to you. <laughs> and they swear it smells so good. You see? Yeah, I think it's traditional. Uh, so The most sophisticated ticketing machines I've ever seen in any metro station. Not in France, not in the US, not even in Russia. Look at here, you have your classical uh, ticket machines. And here are the turnstiles. All right, let's do this challenge. I want you to count from one to three. Are you ready? So here it is, okay? All right. Was it like longer than counting from one to three? Hi guys, I just you know I was enjoy, enjoying my croissant, you know, peacefully alone. Actually croissant on the donut. And suddenly this girl came here and started telling me that she likes me, she likes my profile. Hi guys. And they asked her, are you flirting with me? And she said I said no. I just she said yes before. <laughs> you see she changed her mind quickly. I <laughs> swear! Whatever it is, I just want to say that it's really nice when someone is able to like share something sincerely and I felt that Jonas is doing it from the depths of his heart and uh, she's talking about my heart she already knows my <laughs> <laughs> guys this is it's so much <laughs> no I mean just like you know what my idea is because we were talking before uh, in general uh, about uh, different mindsets one can have and the way we can perceive things and I just want to say it's a good uh, mindset you it's have a good because thing. you create, you try to spread your message and uh, doesn't matter how many people you reach, we all feel that you're uh, you're trying to share the part of your authenticity and you that's see, the most important because we are all connected in the end <laughs> for seasons and years <laughs> and that is all around us I didn't tell you, she, she's a great speaker. <laughs> she gives some crazy speeches and she knows exactly what I'm talking about. You see guys, I have only 35 subscribers, but she is my first fan of Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke for a few minutes. You know what she just said? <laughs> Eunice! Let me check it out. Teach me some French. <laughs> she didn't say just, oh, Eunice, teach me some French. She said, Eunice, teach me some French. <laughs> With a little Ukrainian accent. Can you say it in Italian? How do you say teach me some French in Italian? <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to meet you! <laughs> She's leaving. <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> Come here. <laughs> 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 
Orange guys, it's still fun. <laughs> We're enjoying our time. <laughs> I wasn't planning to record any of these. <laughs> but it's not every day that a girl meets me in a cafe that I don't know. Say, you know, teach me something. <laughs> this is Ukraine. Welcome to Kiev, Ukraine. You don't get this in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question because it has been. Let me get closer. Because she wants me to teach her French, so now I'm getting closer to her. <laughs> so I have been in Kiev for three weeks, and I saw many girls like with the lips that look like like this. And I'm asking Maria, why the girls here they do a lot of injections? And here's the answer. It's simple because it's just here's a different mentality, you know. Like people, girls especially, if you're surrounded by other girls and you see. No. Everyone gets their nails done, everyone gets their fear done. You already did this, you already did that, you already did What else you can do? Oh, maybe you try to do something with your lips. You know, also if you check, for example, uh, on your phone the amount of uh, salons, cosmetologists and other things, like, this business grows here fast because uh, it's on demand. You can look, you can just show around with your camera, like, how the girls look like, you know, here. Maybe you can confirm or not. I think apparently, um, yeah, just women kind of like to invest in their appearance. So I agree. <laughs> I agree. Girls look very like, attractive. Yeah, it, it's the same as in Russia, in Eastern European countries, Ukraine as well. Okay. So. Is it like cu cultural, you mean? It's cultural, right. Okay. It's cultural. What do the parents think about it? Like, you know, if a girl do like this, she's 19, what the mother or the father says about this? What do you think? They don't care? I think uh, they just accept it because it's maybe in some concern. I don't know, for example, I should say I have a sister, she's 14. And one last time I saw her recently and like, wow, you know, the way now also is a mindset of um, teenagers change changes it's quite fast but it's all because of the society you know okay so people around influences us influence us so that's it to make her to get her nails done to get her beer done when she while she's going to your messages while she does this and this, this and then once i saw her man and I said, oh, but why? You look so beautiful, you're like so fancy, you have this, this, this done. And your man is bald, fat, <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't even do any exercise or whatever. And she said, no, 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 you don't understand. If he starts taking care of himself, he will find another one. Oh, I see. So I need to be the queen, and he just should remain to me. And that's okay for her? Yeah, that's okay for her, yeah. But like, and yeah, so this is, I don't know, it's kind of... Sometimes it works here. It works here like this. What is the mentality? The mentality. Do you agree with it? I no. I, I think it's just funny. You know, it, it's funny, but yeah, that's uh, that's a, there is a part of truth behind this. Joke. I see. So, I see. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. So you got uh, you got the answer from a true um, <laughs> Ukrainian citizen. That tells you why the lives here look sometimes like. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Little bit, you know, oversized, like three, three times the size. You know. Passionate about things that. Like are clove in the you. in the Italian way, right? You're yeah, from like, Italy. <laughs> and you speak Italian also. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just. And that's also what I like about people to live in Italy, it's the way they kind of being able to enjoy. Did you now, like did you like yourself in Italy? Yeah, yeah. What did you like about Italy? A lot of things. A lot. Everything. I like everything. Especially south of Italy. Okay. South of Italy. I feel there I feel connected to this place. Uh, maybe the op the open like the people are there with open heart. And that's cool. That's really cool. Maybe that's what you should try in the future. Go to Italy again. Settle down there. Maybe I would love to. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to. Sicily or? Uh... Maybe, I don't know. But 
I also like your philosophy, like living three months in this place, three months in this place, and three months in that place, and in general being free, being independent from location, and still always be open to what comes, treat us with love, and be happy, be peaceful, happy. That's, that's a main all maybe, of, of all this illusion that's around us. Well, thank you very much, Maria, for uh, this beautiful um, uh, interview. This beautiful chat. Let's keep it uh, uh, laid back. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I was very happy to, to hear from you and how you have been traveling to many countries around the world despite your young age. You are only... How old are you? 27? One. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when you make a girl <laughs> on purpose, I said 27. She jumped one. <laughs> no, it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. I was very happy talking to you. Please flirt with moderation. <laughs> Can you? Sorry, how to say in French? Well, uh, yeah, no. Au revoir. Arrivederci. Ciao, my friends. <laughs> Street karaoke in Kiev, Ukraine. We came looking for babushkas on street karaoke. <laughs> She's gonna be famous. She's gonna be famous. So, for now, guys, I'll leave you here. See you later. Ciao, my friends. All right, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm waiting for. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have lunch. Don't have energy for jokes. <laughs> this is the place where we are. It's like a huge Japanese historic place. Feels like I'm in Japan. <laughs> no, in Japan, I think you would have left the shoes right there at the entrance. But have you been to Japan? Yeah, I, I was in uh, Tokyo. Yeah. yeah, I stayed there for a few days. It's. Do you have a vlog about it? Just 2015. Yeah. I was so naive. You were not a vlogger. I was an engineer, like an engineer doing engineer and engineer. You would tell me one day you would sell everything and go to YouTube. <laughs> I would say no, I wanna wake up, it's a nice man. <laughs> I wanna become a good engineer, you know, I wanna be a good engineer working for for my boss and you know making these commitments and the projects delivered on time. <laughs> I did it for ten years. <laughs> Merci, au revoir. <laughs> Ukraine is waiting for me, Chernobyl, the palace of the express. <laughs> And the babushka, because we, we went out I today think to find. Your followers know much more than you are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can think that if you want. You don't get crazy, you get awesome. Great, you see, I'm awesome. The sixth time she's flirting with me at the. Ca Listen, guys, here's the deal. <laughs> if she flirts for me, number 10, if she flirts for me for the 10th time, I'm taking her out on a dinner. You go out with me on a date. You are number six. You have four, four chances left. <laughs> All right, she said yes. You are witnessing this, guys. These are, these are the <laughs> these are the vibes of the dinner here with Ukrainians. Look what you are doing. We are eating Japanese food. 